Hold up, chat. I'm trying to give subs. The suicide of Rachel Foster's official game containing sensitive topics. Okay, well. Hold up, chat. Gifting subs. Nice. Uh, since OBS is always uh, makes things more dark, we, I, I have to go higher. Just kind of how it works. Okay, one round of subs gifted. We need to do one more. No, we'll be good to go. Settings, English, music, gameplay, brightness, this is subtitles, yes, smash the volume, back, FX, language, graphics, graphics, high quality, V-Sync, no, controls, proceed, and complete purchase, there you go, chat. Hold up, let me just finish getting the subs, so it's gonna work, nice, done. Okay, easy clap. 200 gifted subs. 200 gifted rocks, Paul Champ. You know what? Top right. Top left. Okay. My dear Nicole. Face with the dragon, one must brandish sword and shield, but sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. I've always thought of you as a fighter who face with the thoughts, challenges, is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. Ah, uh, the way, guys. Hello. Almost a year, pockets. Thanks for always supplying the juice to my juice of achievers. Thank you, so much. Okay. My father, my fa wait. The affairs your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there, I've always been there, when you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1995. You marched against abortion in your first year of college. Okay, dude. Thank you was a good kid, but even if I've never said it so before, I merely thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is a foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There's so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. First of all, I'm sorry. I can read it. I've never thought rage was an emotion worth of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have. My love, I want you to be free from the past. That is why I wanted you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. Oh, come on, man. No tell my family and you are entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer and Helena. 
Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away, I will already be gone long. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. Okay, dude. We've always been there for each other. I wish could have still been there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Here's yours to love. There's nothing else to worth living for, fighting for, dying for. Believe me, I love you above all. Your mother, June 14th, 1991. This looks pretty good. All right. The bad weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snow especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? So we don't know if the game's gonna be dark or not. It's 5 p.m. We're not gonna do lights off yet. Oh damn, this looks pretty good. The smell. That's all I remember from the night we departed 10 years ago. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Hello? Yeah, leave your fucking message, pussy. What now? Yeah, I'll, I can't, I'll turn lights off, motherfuckers. Turn up. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. 
Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? Well, where the fuck am I? We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this particular Master way. suit. Come on, let's do this. Okay. Master suit, huh? All right, man. I got this, dude. I don't know exactly what that is, dude. This glapper. Yeah, the master suit. Is it not above? Did I not get it right? Is it not the wrong place? Master suit. Sweet. Okay, my bad dude, sweet. Holy shit, man. Dude, dude, I, dude, I can I, I can barely say no one sentences this correctly, dude, and you're gonna you get mad at me for not saying the did the right E at the end? Really? Pronunciation? Jesus. Occult Anatomy. All these books are some really look fucking boring, man. That's like a bored ass person. That's a cool ass room. God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left ten years ago. It's so. Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. That's a piece of shit skateboard, let's be honest, dude. Look at that. Lack of grip tape, grip tape in the middle. Lack of, lack, of, lack of grip everywhere else. The grip looks stale. Yikes. Better fucking die to skate that. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Do a flip. I wish. Must get over here, yeah, man. What is this a joke? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, uh this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Oh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Good one. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? Under control. I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I. I you. I... Bye. Jesus. Yeah, dude, I, 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 I'm not kidding. I used to be like a sponsored skitter, dude. I, I would tour like, um,. I would tour my city and shit. This place is a real mess. On my on my skate yeah, shop's diamond. Find anything like that. No kidding, dude. No capo. Mm -hmm. What happened?
Hello? Hey, you still there? Irving? Huh? The roof fell off. Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, w uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, yeah? Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh, Nicole is fine. Thanks. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! Okay, triggered Andy. What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. Okay, dude. Yeah, there was a big like um like ice rainstorm, whatever, or um where I'm from when I was young. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Where the fuck am I? And we missed like um, electricity for like um, weeks or something. It's pretty crazy. Yo, where the fuck am I? Been for weeks. Yep. It was um, they called it in French, la crise du verglas. Verglas means um, like icy rain. Or it's like hell, but yeah, it's hell pretty much. Right, let's go out. Wait, can I not go out? It, it won't let me just leave. Married to the garage. This game looks really, it actually looks stunning. Pretty immersive. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> no. Listen, this office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new... Cell phones, uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. Okay. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Oh, fine. Well, this is simple order. So where the fuck are the keys at? Okay, let's move then. Check your pockets. Can't. So this is that to open the garage door.
can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, stop freezes up. It's like Firewatch. Same thing. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look. I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole. I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father. Rachel. What? L let's just forget it. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. Okay, now what? Workbench. That's it, there's no indication of anything? Oh, Jesus! Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door, I can't get out of here without freezing, Christ! It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh. Thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. Oh, thanks, man. Very sweet. I can't believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. Okay, man. Okay. Is, is this from the makers of uh, a Firewatch? I'm pretty sure it is, right? There's no way it's not. It is. There's no way it doesn't work there or something like that. There's no way that he's not... Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? It's the same game. Oh, nothing. I mean, I just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. What's the Timberline? When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I, I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. Okay, what I meant is that, um... It's the same sort of like, like immersive thing. If then you see something, it's like report, it's a remote, it's talking at the back, progression, there's like, let's do whatever, but then, but then if somebody calls in, it's the same sort of like progression type of thing, like the whole way through. It, it, you know? What am I to do here, dude? See, there it is again. Irving, it's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure, you'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never okay, enough, dude. Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. 
Yikes. Starving suddenly I hate seems beans. like an acceptable option. This should be the furnish, right? There it is. We'll fucking click it. Irving. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Who? Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide uh. down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well... That's long gone. All right. How's it going? It looks real complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Yeah. Uh, I guess. What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? A hundred. The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like two twenty. Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Yo, 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 yo! It's actually exploded. And here he is, in tip-top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Lots of, l l lots of doors open. Where's the one is better? Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it. Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing, but I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No, I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. Okay. Psychiatrist Andy Fogger. What was that? Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey. Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. Almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I... From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush, well... Box right. on stove, smart. I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room. Ah, uh, yes, I know this. My favorite bands. Yep. Playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life then. Wow. It's just your job. I know. Night. Oh, joystick. We can play games. Okay, now where's the shower I did? That's what we need, right? This is all for a shower and Ooh! Painkillers, dude. Hell yeah. Let's get fucking wild then, dude. Pog champ. 
Buy some codeine. Oh yeah. Don't want let me take it. Now where am I going? Yeah, it's like a lab zone, yeah. Oh. No. Wait, was that a bug? A small bug. Unless I'm brain dead. Oh, he's sleeping in the master suit. Oh, let's go then. Yo, bitch. I always want to have um, a room with like a an angled ceiling. That always looked cool. Isn't that great? It's still pretty cool to have depth though. You can put posters on it that kind of like don't reflect light and look cool. And shit. This looks nice. It's pretty cozy. Isn't that cozy, guys? Isn't that the coziest thing, dude? Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. Mm. So, any news? Uh, uh, what? Irving, Nicole, stranded up here. You snoozing? After a night of incomplete crossword puzzles, I wish I was. <laughs> Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and- but Okay. I, you didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. Well, now he has to go home. And now we might need him. And now he's gonna go to sleep. Weirdo. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon. Probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory. Uh, what do you want to do? <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat first. Then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. All right. Where's the pantry? Oh, Jesus! Ghosts. Nicole? Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. When I was growing up, I used to love chasing mice. Now they're gonna chase me. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. For a while, I hid an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning, my bed what was swarming with What the fuck is the ants. pantry I did? You must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. Huh. This had to be it, right? Aha! Do I not report that? I have the option to report literally anything at all. I could I could report dust on the fucking wall, but I can't report the fucking fire alarm going off. You saw it. You saw what? I 
where's the pantry? Fridge, kitchen, storage, fireplace, restroom, di dining, offices, mezzanine. So again, so what? Ah. Moldy. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. They said we had things to to to, to live for months. Everything's fucking moldy, man. It's not a freezer. What does this freezer even look like? Okay, that was not a freezer. Oh, it's a walk in. And now he fell asleep. See? Fucking cock lord, man. He stood up all night dude, waiting for potential phone sex as now that we actually need him. He's AFK. Okay. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. Microwave to heat the beans. You saw it? You saw what? I didn't see it. Yo, aren't these like super powerful microwaves and like at Subway do when they like toast the fucking bread in like four seconds? Why do I have to wait so long for beans, man? Look out. Yo, hello? Mug lunch. Looks like dog food. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He died. He called 911 after just a mile. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm, this is a swear word and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. Okay. Good one. This hotel is a piece of shit, dude. 
How are we gonna help another family survive by getting the money if we're gonna have to sell this complete wasteland of a place, man? You saw it again? What was it? Top left. Was that in the game or in real life? Inspect the second floor first. Sounds good, man. Nice bear, nice bear, like that. Cool mountain, fantastic. My first floor's up. There's a box over there. There's a skeleton. Locked, locked. Oh, wait a minute. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage too. Yeah. Okay. The museum. Okay. Why don't we just burn it? This place is huge, man! Okay. If we need a flashlight chat, it's the top. What was that? What a huge place! You saw what? What did you see? I can stop saying you saw it! What did you see? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? Are you there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known that, huh? 400, 400k, 600k, 1.2 mil. You know mil. Know and what you don't 900k. Know, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. 3.1 no mil for this you. piece of shit. I better keep doing the inspection. 3.1 mil? To repair this piece of shit wasteland of a place, did. Yeah, what is it, man? I'm busy out here, dude. Yeah. Hello? Who is this? Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? 
You're gonna pay for this lame-ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone, I'm talking with FEMA, and I'm gonna get them to call the sheriff. Oh, this thing was spooky. Okay, man. I heard something. You pissed at me? I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? Who gets their kicks out of crank calling me? Crank. Well, your word gets around pretty fast. Uh, what did they say? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. Unbelievable. I It'd mean, break with my the balls. storm, the closed roads, and people croaking and all, someone has nothing better to do than bust my balls? Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. Okay. I think I get it. Almost. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Did she actually die? Her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck, Fuck them. them. <gasps> no need to be such a so rude. Day three. I think it would have been better if they. Instantly, instantly transitioned when she said fuck him and then boom, he went transitioned. More impactful, yo. Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Must have been sleeping pills and those beans. Since I've been here, it's like I'm literally hibernating. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? My Leonard. dad. Maybe. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Actually, the lights are acting a little weird. <sighs> I was afraid of that. I don't like the idea of you up there on your Arch. own in the dark. We got to do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. I know where it's at. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Too easy. Where's the hitch? Have to crank it. Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker: straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But the garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. Street warrior. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet. Three year old survivor. Apartment and see Mission to Mars. Use for lighting. Ping pong. Uh, on my way. Hole in one. You can't play any of those, man. It's all classics, dude. First floor staff area, I know what that is. I got this chat. So it's back near the kitchen. Backwards, boom. What's it going about? It's it's some it's some 
self-entitled triggered girl something happened to her family somebody else's family that were looked up to and now everybody's losing their mind because she wants to sell the hotel to help the family of the of the girl that died and then uh, she's she, now she's she, she's she's figuring out that the girl might be still alive or something but on top of that uh, her hotel's worth nothing but she always promised that to give the money and now she's gonna be broke both ways and then she's gonna be guilty that's my take I'm confused. Was that not the crossface chat? I heard that. You saw it again. What was it? Did he say to get to the flashlight first? I don't get a chat. Guys, where's the crawl space? First floor of the staff area. Topless skeleton. Okay, good. Good one, dude. Funny. <laughs> so there's two staff room. Ah, my fucking god! Fuck me! Hey. Okay, almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. The crawl space? I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No, but I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to go down to the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. That's what it was. Fuck, man. My control was vibrating the whole time. Holy shit, man. Let me chat. I was listening. Oh, there it is. I found the crawl space and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? I don't remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up, idiot. You're a fat fucking whale, is what he wanted to say.
shit. What's wrong? Your prophecy came true. The power went out. It's completely dark. Pitch black. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Yeah. Easy. Does it. Hello? Motherfucker. What's happening? I hear people, man. That's the wrong way, man. I didn't mean like a crowbar in the chat. Fuck, man. Dude, actually stop, it's spamming. Dude, I heard like a laugh or something. Dude, I'm done. And now I can break it. you something okay uh go ahead how long has the hotel been closed uh, about four years uh, yeah from 89 I mean did anyone think about doing a thorough Lag. clean of the basement don't know uh, probably pretty rushed why I found something another Polaroid a lipstick huh doesn't that seem weird it's a uh, Lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been, I, I don't know, nine or ten years. It's a ghost. Strange someone should wait 10 years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? Cut the crap. A lipstick here is totally out of place. Nicole, it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well... Yeah. You're probably right. This guy's a zero head. I heard something. I think it's a ghost. I think it's a ghost too. C 
clues. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sort of. You forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. Oh! Hey, what? Here I am. You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. Look at it this way. I've always had a secret passion for Sherlock Holmes. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. A beehive. All right, let's go hunt some bees then. I can still hear that guy telling me Rachel's alive. If he calls back, go into special protocol mode. Which is? Trying to sell him a vacuum cleaner. Oh, why did I even ask? <laughs> That's actually kind of smart. Something's not right. There's a story of it. Let's get the clues. In Luna's room, shed some light. Uh, the boys, let's shed some light. Okay, what is this? Stars, nebula, shine. All turn black. I try to understand why atoms, empty space. Lipstick, yeah. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. A very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. Priests always made me nervous. Them and their invisible boss. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter? Hey, no, no. I he killed her. Even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. She's trapped in the basement, dude. She's a slave. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or, Rachel is sad. Or, Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her. But the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. I told all of us there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, 
You made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... Yeah, sure. Leonard ruined his life over a 16-year-old, became a recluse, lost everything, and in the meantime, he supposedly had another lover, maybe even two. So? Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? That's all the clues, right? I heard that. I imagine you're locked up in a room full of moose head mounts and a fat secretary who brings you reports about cats stuck on trees. Let me guess. Mindy? Fat. Yeah. Wendy. No way! Her name is Wendy. She's not a fitness freak, and she's my boss. <laughs> oh, God. If anything, I'm the secretary. I bet she works you to the bone. <laughs> uh, plus, she's a wildlife freak. Mine's the only head that could end up hanging on the wall. I realized just now, I don't know what you look like. Well, I'd say pretty much a local guy. Wait, local don't guy didn't. I want to think about it, and then I'll come up with an identikit. I thought I was the one that got bored. You do one too, then, and then we'll compare. Uh, okay. But if Wendy finds out... <laughs> we'll never know what either of them looks like. And at the end... They're gonna like re rejoin or whatever, and then we're not gonna see him. Just like Firewatch. That's my call, dude. That's the call, boys. Calling it in right here. Or he's in the basement right now with Rachel. This is just the beginning. Lousy pit of fire. I knew it! Beware. Shitting yourself into gross den between mountains it will not protect you. You will pay for what you have done. Yikes! Buddhism. Oh, Illuminati. What else, huh? What else, motherfuckers? Wall clues. Oh, there's three of them. article from a couple years back. There's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? Uh, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. So? But she was a classmate. She couldn't have been wrong. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. 90 feet, that's pretty high, man. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was <clears throat> nine weeks pregnant. Uh, I had that home. Yeah, that was the official version. Let's go. So, listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. Okay, Bob, well, I'll hear you out. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Maybe, maybe not. Until I know exactly what happened. 
Montana brothers. You don't need my approval. Good job. We're getting the hang of it. But sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. Okay. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me. At least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. Agent. I'll follow it to the T. What does that mean? I'll follow it to the T-bone or whatever? Like T-bone? Whoa, what the fuck happened? Ah, it's a dreamer. Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. It's a pleasure and coming. It reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where she, are you? She fell. You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Wait, what? I'm confused. Was, he says, I love you, Rachel, but the Rachel's dad is a pastor. It's not the fucking astrologist or as uh, Dude. Astronomy. Guy. Am I interrupting? I was eating steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Half a serving. The other half ended up in the trash. Uh, so she's I Rachel. Find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, <laughs> so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's um it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, they're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. 
spare me the kitchen, I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Is it the same actress I almost... Man, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's, it's one, one, seven. I told you, no tricks. Is that Master Chief? No tricks, I didn't use anything. Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you, I didn't Danny? rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear, Dad, I... Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, Dank. I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, one uh, one seven. One one seven, I think. One one seven, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Spartan one one seven. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Where's the room at? One oh eight. Yeah, yeah, I said it. I have it right. I have the right song. One oh four. Guys, where the fuck am I going? One oh three, backwards. I didn't give you some fudger. I didn't miss it. It's one one seven. This is one oh eight. Is the, is that trolling? It was on the other side. Go on, chat. You passed it. Good one, dude. You passed it. They say fudge you, man. It doesn't exist. Look, one twelve. One six. One five. One, three. Guys, is my brain just dead? It's not here.
found the room. But? But someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around oh, somewhere. Oh, yeah. But, uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. Nah, it, 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 it's in the crawl I've space. Seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. I got this. Chat. Look at the face. I heard that. Okay, okay. So I, I don't want to make it weird. Okay, I don't want to call it the game's production because I don't know much about game production. Okay, but whatever audio they recorded for those footsteps in real life, they didn't filter the ambient noise in the room whenever they did it. We could hear the fucking microphone's fucking background noise with the footsteps, yo. What are those noises, dude? Small coming, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm not mad about it. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, just a small observation, you know what I mean? Get screwdriver, what do you think I'm doing, buddy? Do you know who I am? I'm the world class traveler, intergalactical gaming golem. I'm never lost. I never don't know. I'm never... Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? It sounded so natural. Awesome actors, I'll give them that. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat go backwards, is bad right? luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. For me, a black cat crossing the road just means he's on his way somewhere. Is that your line? Maybe, no, I don't know. But that's the idea. Screwdriver. I'm out of here. Men. Pig. Vandals. <gasps> I heard that, man. Did you think about the identikit? Uh huh. And? I imagine you kind of like Tom Cruise. Sexy smile and athletic build. More like short and immature. Shucks. Your turn now. I'd say a mix between Cruella de Vil. The Wicked Witch of the East and Sigourney Weaver. What a jerk! Why? Savvy in business, dominating with men, and courageous beyond measure. Oh, well, when you say it like that. Instead, about your looks. Go ahead, I'm curious. You're like no other. But you've oh, never okay, seen it. Okay, dude. Uh, actually, I have the 82 school yearbook, and you're in it too. Oh, God, with that hair. So embarrassing. That's fucking I'm weird. Beautiful like no other. Irving, I... Oh, all right, all right. I'm out of that, here. That's you fucking weird, that? dude. That is pure weird. <laughs> oh, I get it. 
He's backing up the pastor. They were like weirdo pedos, and he's trying to hide shit from her. And he knows the whole thing. Guys, the screwdriver is here somewhere. The crawl space ends here. I know it does. Am I crazy? The generator room. Okay, we'll go then. I'm not going in circles. I heard that. Yeah, there's a ghost in here, chat, I'm telling you. I'm not kidding. The crawl space ends here, backwards. Yo, chill, man. Yo! Okay. Exactly, where the, lip, where the lipstick was, exactly. The lipstick room is the generator room. The only way to get to the generator room is through the crawl space. The crawl space is locked backwards unless it was locked because we were in a cutscene. Which happened before and it, it triggered me. Me, it's the garage. We gotta go to the garage. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go to the garage. Why is there so many noises, man? should be right around here. Uh, hi, sir. A lot of noises now, huh? I got it, baby. Now. Where are we going, chat? What were we trying to open that we needed this for? The pickaxe. Yeah, we're one seven. The pickaxe is missing. What was that noise anyway? Ah, uh, I think it's backwards again. Just fuck it, dude. Just burn the house down. There's no point, dude. Why bother with this shit?
Uh oh. Missing girls, talks of pedos, a weird dude, cameras, video players, bedrooms. And listen, man, I know where this is going, chat. Chat, I know where this is going. Parabolic microphone, of course, man. How much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Oh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. I heard Rachel. Broken land, but it's working. Okay, man. Sure did. The noise. Remember the noise from, from the uh, the main room? Okay, I missed something. So I heard a knife. Would you use for that? Like, what shit? You missed something. Okay, chat. I'll bite. I'll bite, man. King of the hill. Chat, I bite. I missed something. What is it?
Hau okay. Hey! Ha! For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Oh, you should be. You're never gonna believe it. Two motherfuckers in. Any jumpers? I am the abuser, dude. And then, and then, and then, when she died as a ghost, she just haunted them all, dude. She got revenge on them. you that time the Thompson girl came to play. Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well, maybe better that way. Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Home? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Side your brain. Don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Inside. Go. I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Simp on? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. What? We've never met, Irving. I can't even picture your face. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well, I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free? You're making progress. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> Santa. What tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone, then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone? It feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator. It's a real phone, and trust me, in a few years, everybody will have one. You think? It's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone when they're out and about. I'm... I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't have met you without it. Irving, are you hitting on me by any chance? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you, I mean, it's just, I... Relax, I was kidding. <sighs> I can never tell when you're kidding. Yeah, it's one of my fascinating virtues. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Huh? Oh, okay. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. Fake. Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. I get it too. Box her out. Yeah. That's what there was in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Warmth. Then it all ended. Because it was that warmth. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... I can't open it yet. Hey. Cutscene. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh... Okay.
It won't let me. Like, fuck off, dude. Oh, it's Santa. I fucking missed it. Pharaoh. Mathematics of astronomy. I did my um my year one of astronomy, did. We studied the telescopes like Hubble, um, like the Galileo fucking. Yo, these are new. Oh, it's, an, it's, it's a new crawl space. What is that? Frowny face, guy alone with girl, and that's the pastor guy. Pastor guy comes in and then yoinks her and goes to the church with the girl. And the last part is frowny face and Girl. Yeah, that's not, that's that that that's some pedo shit for sure. Yeah, I studied that dude. Where like um the light comes in to the middle or whatever and bounces off to the side or something like that. Right, and it refracts and shit. I was thinking about earlier when I said I was happy to have met you. Uh huh. I, I just I, I, I was trying to again out how to tell you I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. I, God, I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. Irving, I I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, I get that I might be shut able to up! do it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um, later. So fucking annoying, this fucking simp, dude. This is what it is to be a female, dude? Jesus Christ, I shut the fuck up. I was uh, busy. Oh, uh, no problem. It's fine. What do you want to tell me? It's this microphone. Sometimes it captures sounds. What sounds? Whispers. It could be a draft in the crawl spaces. Hotel's full of them. Yeah, sure. Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, heads up, and if you sense trouble, just let me know. We're getting closer there. It's right there.
It's almost maxed out. It's right there. That's it. Stop doing that. Maybe above? It's the wall. I already reported it. Did I bug it? Hold up, give me a chat. I'm done. Oh, you're dumb because I just got it. That's it right here. I know, I know it. All in upstairs. And around. That way. Am I a zero head Andy? It's above, right? Yes, and yeah, okay, did. Take me to get into town using skis? Uh, somewhere along the lines of never. Just wondering. You could get to Dry Gulch Summer Ranch in two or three hours. Stop! Five or six hours. Five or six. Okay, whatever. I don't know how to ski anyway. I'm pretty sure it's, it, it, it's in a cross face. I know, it's ridiculous. Leonard was from Sacramento. Oh, at least you won't risk your life. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I also have a couple of serious defects. I knew it. All ears. I only placed third with 19 minutes and 14 seconds for eating five pounds of hot dogs at the county fair. I so totally admire you. <laughs> <laughs> We've never been here before. All these shortcuts, man. There it is. It's in this direction right here. It's getting higher. Guys, we're going away from it, I think. Huh? 
<sighs> They're on one side, I think. That one says where I was before. Okay, we're going down. We're going back down, boys. That's it. We're going back. It's the mic area? I think so too. That's it, that's the one. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. No, I see here though. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December twenty third. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> oh! Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost oh, that's back. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She talked and moved oh, with the grace time. and confidence of an adult. $18 there in your she wore a dress room. with a bow on the back. Here it is now. Check she it was side. So beautiful. It's the best. Perfect. Fuck. My ass is stinking. It was the beginning Weird of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> coming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. No, I still hear it though. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. No, but I see her though. Ah, it's gone, you're right. Eight days, dude. Is nobody gonna come save us, dude? Ah, oh, it's a daddy flashback again. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have my items anymore. No fucking door handles. Balls of water. See, I knew it. He brought the girl with the black hair in the church and it made the little guy unhappy. That's what the pictures meant. That's where he tapped her, dude. A weird champ.
you do, Andy. She's fucking cooking like a kebab. Oh, a shortcut. Wait, it's a shortcut to the church, man. Guys, I don't, I don't have my map anymore either. I have nothing. I have no items. You think it's a dream? Man, this stutter is getting worse, chat. I think it's worsening. When I started streaming, it was like stage one, dude. And then a, couple year, a couple years ago, it was like stage two. I thought we were going full stage three. Before we make full sentences, with not a single word that is coherent. After stage three, it's death, dude. <laughs> Why are people happy? <laughs> Why are people happy? <laughs> My name is Roy. Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. Shut up. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Shut well, up. I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't <clears> think so. <throat> no. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. <clears throat> like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Uh, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not <coughs> the point. Sorry. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I don't want to go back there now. But I'll think about it. Oh, uh... Irving? Yeah? I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nikki. Okay. We did it, I guess. So where's the new room? The new room that goes all straight down. I'm gonna join this game though. It's pretty slow at times, but I don't give a fuck. It's worth it. Um, I think it's down there. Yeah, it is. See, I fucking knew it. It's in the white corridor. Uh, hi. I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. Okay, Psy Psy just Andy again. He's back at it again. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy. Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. 
She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like that ours noise, makes man. you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Let me try this, chat. I got this. Hello? Hey, what are you doing there? Don't know. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. Sure. You think it's too the church, the organ, the notes reverberating in the dark? It's been years since anyone played it. My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you to play it in Portland. You're better off listening to a cat. He's here somewhere, dude. Scales. Well, you can always pick it up again. Even if I don't think it's crucial. I mean, playing the organ. Oh, hold up. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then there was Everton, Rachel. Everton is a cross? How useless it says Jesus. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She streamers. raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where like she ninja, kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. Never asked. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. As... <laughs> Sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart, or it's your end, round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you, all that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks, but how can I remember it? How it's... I... I Round the corner, turn wow. around. Total mystery. I know what it is. Want to play? Uh, I yeah. See, I knew it. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll I'll call you if anything comes to mind. I wasn't there earlier.
What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches <sighs> in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. Well, divided by everything else, I'd say. Okay. Someone broke into the church. Some fucking screwed up Thanks, camper. Innocent. Oh, your father left it open for mountain wanderers. God damn sons of... Oh, I'll have to clean up this mess before Jenkins shows up. Keep an eye out. Normally, no one's around in this weather, but you never know. Oh, okay, Hobos. okay. He's gonna listen again. No. Practicing for the church choir now? I know this too. The souls that come out of their graves. It's from the book of Revelation. Can I ask you about your mysterious father, who you only sort of mention? My father was nothing like Leonard. Well, I don't know what happened between you, but if you want to talk about it, I... I... I will. But not now. It's, um... It's Do we have all the items now? Yeah, I get that. Believe me, I do. Thanks. I think we just looked at, at every p part of the fucking room, right? Oh, let's get the fuck out of this place, dude. What was that? I hear water and rats. A oh, butterfly. I knew there was. I knew there was gonna be something in here, chat. I knew it. I said earlier. It looked like it was a door. It was obvious. See, down the stairs, watch your step, sharp turn. Oh, I fucking knew it. Yeah. This is it, chat. Retainer box. Teach me to talk. Speech therapy. Oh shit. So, found the mystery decorations? Uh, no, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I. It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Ah, oh, he knows. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's... Like a kid's room. No way. He knows. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. <sighs> wait, 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 there's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's... Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a, a replica. Uh, you know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. She's but dead. Other hands on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. It's a key. 
bread crumb. Hey, it's not in there either. Yes, we have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No, I found a key. It's from my old music box, the one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Motherfucker! Nah, listen. Where's the gun? This is Montana yes. and mountains, dude. Nicole, listen. There's danger. Where's the gun? Say, but please trust me. Get out of there. No. No way. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a. a the a, more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this? We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. No, that's when it's gonna Please, tamper just, evidence. Listen, a bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years. And now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, you realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father, he spent years in there, in total solitude, with the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience. He, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. What? You're joking, right? You think he did this? Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes. How dare you? My, my father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. But fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built... Wait, it is him. ...underground shrine for a dead person. Wait, it is him. changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him. And I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that if you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Wait, it is him then. <sighs> Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay. Let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide. And some even think she's still alive. I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then the lipstick from 10 years ago turns up still good. And then my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. He made the room for the ghost. And now I find her retainer box. But no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. 
But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless... Unless... They're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, no, no. No, I'm just being paranoid. And then, there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff. Is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hot. Just like this lip, ready? I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Pop. Fuck. Pop. Fuck. I, I, I can do it. It's too hard. Fuck. Guys, where's the fucking music box at? The hockey player, you think? Oh. Piece of pepper, message. It's a clue. It's a bread, the breadcrumbs. December 1983. The hockey finals at Masula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. Voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this gotta story, go in there. then it's gotta be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I give a fuck. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It, it all sounds insane. Oh, thanks, man. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Sure, man. Church. That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? The storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Which storeroom?
in the middle, the better things find the proposition. They just described it. At the church, you think? Above the reception. Dude, I'm not a fucking geologist, man. Yeah, I'm not fucking Christophe Colomb, man. I can't just... Oh, I know what that is. It's right there above this. I, I know what that is. Uh, above the reception. Of course. Oh. <laughs> it's not Christophe Cologne, you fucking cuck. Christophe Cologne. That's his real name. Not Christophe Columbus, dude. That's not even his real name. That's the Americanized version, dude, you fucking cuck lord. Did we just go full circle? Guys, is this not the is this not the reception? Under those stairs. Aha! Where's the gun? We need a gun. Oh my god, I lost. Wait a minute, this makes sense. She was pregnant, so he killed her. Hello? Her dad fucked the girl, and she was I'm pregnant, so he killed her. It's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, Whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed. But that's the kill. Why my the, hockey stick. That's the kill weapon. Hello, hello. Oh God, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. Oh yeah, I don't know. Fuck, man. I, I, I don't know why I streamed. I have no idea. I don't know why I streamed. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Stop fucking asking me, dude. Where are you, Nicole? <sighs> it's about time. Did you hear my messages? He, he's close. How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving? Hold on, chat. In a minute.
Yeah, he's close, chat. You see it? The voice changed. He's not using the... Um... Pranks, did I just got fucking pranked? How about we call the police, huh? Where am I going anyway? Time we're on second floor door or oh, above. Stop doing that, you fucking phone. It's above. We have to go above. Where's the staircase? At? I forgot what staircase is that. Right, so there. See, I keep hearing a laughter, man. What is that? It's a fucking ritual, man. It's open. Somebody's here. What is that? Car engine. Transmission. He made a car. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What? What does all this mean? That's the question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered. Every reconstructed piece. Every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo. A hairband. A lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. Okay, okay, so You're what? FEMA. You, Jenkins. You, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the Okay, night. relax, Simp Andy. I, we did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Where are you now? 
I want to tell you a story. Fuck off. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. But his father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. Church cap. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Yes, it's true. I hated her. But I was just a jealous kid. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Okay, dude. Victim Andy. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. That very moment. In that... confined horizon of events as you'll understand as you've already begun to understand I want to know what you want from me you have to keep going to get to where I wasn't able to go you will be the new witness you owe it to us and you owe it to her. But what does she even do? Oh, why is he so hard molding? She was just jealous and that's it? What is this? Ah, oh, he was smoking the whole time. Faith, okay, cool man. It's a child, man, weird champ. It's his fucking sister, yoikes, man. Ranking checkmate. Okay, dude. All right, let's see it. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. 
I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels. Okay. Those wide open eyes. Those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter. Trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those well, who the content. recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. Same eight pictures. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? What well, game an answer, dude? I'm good. I will be good. Never ask. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Stand back, demon. I got a stick. It makes noises, dude. Back the fuck up. I got the staff, dude. Plus 18 fucking intel. One tapper, dude. Father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. So, why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you were different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Okay, dude. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal. Shame. Death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. 
I've already given you everything I could. Okay. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. Puzzles and even. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. The last door? The front door? It's gonna be him. Nope, that ain't it. The garage door. Michael Warren? The Claire room key, the other car. Oh shit. Ugh! What's in a blanket? Go wash it. I think it was for the blood or something, dude. I think it's a corpse. It's the baby inside the corpse. Where's the laundromat? It's here somewhere. Just to go wash it. Guys, it says, what's in the blanket? Wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. But I can't. I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Missoula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You, and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. 
Okay. Then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. You guys are saying predictable, but I don't know what's going on. Now. Throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She cleaned it. Oh, she killed it. Go on. No. I, I don't. Go on. We, we got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Oh, she got, she got jealous. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I, I don't. <laughs> her mom killed her because she was jealous that he fell in love with her. I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket gun. Oh my god. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. But if she was playing with a stick, how did she kill her with a stick when she was playing? You've oh, it was before. Revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire? I was only a kid. Plus, she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is is here. You know, I I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, uh, where are you going? It's a suicide pact. Listen, we can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but I never thought it was so... What? Irving, where are you? It's wide as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You, you left the hotel? But it's too cold. You'll, you'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can and go back to her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again in another time beyond this horizon of events. Everything is dead. Why are people happy? Irving. I, I don't want to stay alone here. I, I, everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. 
Somebody's here. Ah, who's there? Rachel? Is that you? Hello? Jenkins, the attorney. A suicide. I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you get Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home, and I have to stay here forever. Wait a sec, let's talk. Oh, there's also my scene. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irwin could come with us. What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad. Who does you sound like? It would be so nice. You know what? Fuck it. I think we can get an alternate ending. I'm not gonna turn the fucking car on, dude. I ain't doing it. I will not stand for carbon monoxide poisoning on my watch. Not happening, dude. I'm a firm advocate of breeding nice CO. Wait a minute. No, O? O2? O something? Fucking oxygen, dude? How do you call it, dude? Fucking Dad, I'm fucking out, dude. Wait, wait. I did all that you asked me of. I'm not gonna do it, dude. I ain't doing it, dude. I started the car, dude. I knew it. All the ending and coming. Give it a minute. Hang on. Guys, I'm telling you. There's an Easter egg ending if we don't do it. Give it one more minute. Fuck it. I'm like, make you guys wait. Please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. I said that. I'm scared. Ah, fuck it, dude. 
Fuck it. Why are people happy? Death. At last. It's over. You... I... I don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. <coughs> okay, okay, okay! I clicked it! I clicked! Turn off the fucking engine, dude! Timberline to his fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes. Like a whole family. No more anger. Just love. Ten thousand bits, but three four man this is it. I beg a clock, thanks for 10,000 bits, I didn't push a lot, dude. It was alright. I feel like, um, I don't know, dude. The thing is, is that... I don't know, dude. I... I think Firewatch is the exact same game. In terms of storytelling, delivery, Progression fucking you know things and again and it was better But it doesn't feel like you're literally walking around in circles while dialogue is happening You still feel like you're playing the game and you're walking forward towards wherever you're going This game may be fucking spinning circles for hours Come on man I liked it, but dude, like, come on, man. Firewatch was amazing. Firewatch was one of the best games we played on stream. It was very cozy and chill and linear and like going forward and not knowing what was going on. Well, let's at least let's, let's at least land. Let's at least let the credits end. Okay. <laughs> Stage three is creeping up on me, boys. Why not play Tantan with Soda? Is he playing right now? If we do a squad game, I would rather play some like, um, Friday. Or risk. Little things. 101 games. We like to thunk up. Oh. Okay. This is one of those games, chat, where if you watched it or you watch somebody play it online, you don't have to buy it and play it. There is literally like a lot of games are worth playing, like uh, God of War, where even if you watch it, you can still see the story. And still want to do it yourself because you want to like progress in the way the, the way you want to do it, dude. But these games, like, there is literally like a 99% experience by watching it and like a 1% by playing it, which is not like the other games. I think it's why um, there isn't a lot of people making those games because there's no point. People just watch like fucking streamers and then like Markiplier, dude, and like you know. Fucking PewDiePie play, and then they're fucking done with it, dude. And then they'll never touch it or hear about it again. 